was six way blind. I couldn't even find my way to the end. Oh, come on. <laughs> You're not even in anything. Jamie has no idea what we're doing. I just said, hey, let's film together. I have an idea. So she's out there uh, watching, doing something. I don't know what she's doing. But today, we are going to pit two legendary distilleries against each other. We have Wild Turkey versus Heaven Hill. Wild Turkey Rare Breed coming in at 116.8 proof. Wow, this smells really nice. I get, I get a butterscotch and a little bit of berry, some apricots, baking, is it baking bread or cinnamon rolls? I was going to say it's almost like baking like apple danishes or something. Dough and caramel and cinnamon and like brown sugar and sh regular like white sugar, Ooh. a hint of an apple, a little bit of an oak. I'm getting a very light freshness. But in no way is the smell, it's it's thick and syrupy. I can, I get that. But then it's light and fresh. Yeah. Does that make sense? A mm -hmm. little bit of both. I do get some apples. I get some Cinnabon butterscotch on the end. Like I have one of those um, butterscotch candies mm -hmm. towards the end. It's, it's pretty good. The mouthfeel is really good. Really good mouthfeel. It's got a pretty decent, like, syrupy, syrupy thickness. Mm. Has, like, a little bit of a proof. Mm -hmm. A little proof in there. Yeah. Wow. My mouth is just coating with that butterscotch. And it's, it, it, but it also has, like, some other flavors in there, like cinnamon bun. And... I'm getting just a very faint, a uh, little bit of a grape. It's like a, 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 a Welch's grape juice. Not like a fresh grape, but like a Welch's grape juice. Just a little bit. A little bit of a uh, uh, kind of a, a tannicky barrel, just faintly. Hmm. I like this one. This is good. This one's very good. Larceny Barrel Proof B522 coming in at 123.8 proof. This one's really nice too. I get I get a little bit more of like a sweet oak, almost kind of like a frosted flake. I was gonna say like glazed Krispy Kreme donut. Oh, now that you mentioned it, <laughs> <laughs> you had me at glaze. I know. <laughs> oh, that, yeah. Did you get a little berry on that glazed donut, David? I do. Mm hmm I definitely get some berry on that glazed donut. It really caramelly, too. It, and now, you, now you got me thinking oh. about donuts. It's like one of those powdered sugar donuts with the strawberry inside, the strawberry filling. And then I get glazed on top of all that, too. Oh, yeah. Got a good proof, a little bit of a punchy proof. Not in a negative way at all. Mm -mm. But it's got, like, a, a nice a little warm proof. In. A warm it, it, it Yeah, like, yeah. That's a better word it's for It's like it. the donut got... It, it was hot, crispy creams when the light's on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one, mm. um, it's it got a little spice, nice nice mouthfeel, a little Cody mouthfeel. There's a little bit of a dry barrel, too. Mm. Mm -hmm. that I'm getting. This one I feel rushing down my arms and stuff. Yeah, yeah, this one's definitely got a little, <laughs> Warming. Something, little something going on. Those are the ones that I like where the, the proof is camouflaged within the bourbon where I can tell it's kind of higher complexity, but that's really good because the proof didn't bother me there. Well, and it, it, it the sweetness is, it's like even though it's spicy and it's oaky and all these things, that sweetness really kind of comes forward. Russell's 10-year coming in at 90 proof. This this one I get almost kind of like a perfume flower. Yeah, I get that. A very pretty smell. It's got a really pretty smell, but it's also got like an older barrel smell to it. Yeah, I'm I'm envisioning like honeysuckles, a really pretty flower. I do get a little bit of that honeysuckle. I get what you're saying there. I also get a little bit of a cereal grain. Yeah. A little weediness kind I, of feel. And to that it. leads me into more like Fruit Loops because the cereal grain is is sugary and fruity. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it still smells really nice on the nose. And now. I got like a, a a faint baking spice on top of all that too. He's familiar. My tongue is getting a little nummy. I'm getting I, a very faint grape Kool Aid. 
I, I'm not getting the great Kool-Aid, but I am getting um, like a berry, some kind of berry Kool-Aid. Yeah. And it's super faint. It's not real sugary at all. Mm. It's almost like they used the mix, but didn't put in, didn't mix the sugar with it. I'm getting this amazing mouth tingly feel going on on this one right now. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of an older barrel taste to it. It's that numbing that I was talking about. Um, I usually get it on Russell's. Definitely a little, maybe oh. lower proof. I get some grape now. <laughs> Ooh, I'm starting to pick up peanut note, uh, notes of peanuts. It's peanuts, grapes, caramel, light vanilla. Pretty solid mouthfeel, but there's not much proof oh. spice at all. Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit coming at 101 proof. This has presence about it. And it's a cinnamon sugar presence, thank goodness. Oh, yeah. This is like cinnamon <laughs> sugar cookie dough. Yeah. Like sugar cookie dough. Thick. Oh. Melted syrup. It smells like Snickerdoodle's taste. <laughs> yeah, it's a Snickerdoodle. That's good. It's a little more peanutty and peanut butter than I typically like. It's got a nice mouthfeel. Decent proof, a little bit of spice, a little bit of barrel. But it has this really interesting like sugar cookie quality that then turns to like a, a barrel. Like a... I don't want to call it a musty barrel, but like an oaky mm -hmm. barrel. This one gives me an impression like I ate too many sugar cookies. And once you eat too many, then you don't want any more. And it just gives me the impression that I'm at my final sugar cookie that I just don't want anymore. Yeah, after eight sugar cookies, you have to stop. <laughs> and that's why where they don't taste that good anymore. True, true. Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond coming in at 100 proof. Oh, I get butterscotch on this one. And I'm getting some oak. Nice caramel notes. A little bit of vanilla. Yeah. Very, very faint um, mm -hmm. kind of a rye spice. I'm getting a very sugary tea. It's yeah. so sugary and so thick. Like the tea is old and warm, like lukewarm. Mm -hmm. It's got a really nice caramel note. Some vanilla. Mm-hmm. It's got a nice balance of spice proof. It's kind of really well rounded. Like it's not. Yeah. There's a good presence to it. It's not overdone. I like the sweetness. I like the finish. It's. The mouth feels fantastic. Super thick, syrupy mouthfeel. The finish has the peanuts. I, I'm getting a little peanut in there mm -hmm. too. Henry McKenna 10 year coming in at 100 proof. So I get a really nice sweet candy corn. A little bit. I also get this really beautiful floral note. Maybe really far deep underneath. <laughs> <there>. <laughs> Maybe. Well, this is nice. And then I do get a little bit of the proof up front. I get a little bit of a barrel, a little barrel quality on this one too. I feel like this is kind of a medium proof. I don't feel like it's particularly high proof. Or at least it doesn't come across like that. Mm -hmm. I tell you, it has a, a nice sweet candy corn taste. It really does. A little bit of candy corn, some vanilla, caramel. It's got a nice mouthfeel. I'll get a very, very faint berry. I'm getting that very faint berry again. I'm not getting a lot of berry at all. Mm. It's so faint. My it's really mouth, faint. It's really faint. My mouth is just like gobbed with candy corn taste. It's really It's like thick. if somebody melted a bunch of candy yeah. corns and made me eat it with a spoon. It's like gobby. It's really thick in the like mouthfeel, like for sure. Mm -hmm. mm. Solid. That's a good one. Tonight in sixth place, we have this guy. I ate too many sugar cookies and they weren't uh, they weren't as good when I finally got to like the 10th cookie. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. I liked it. It's That's what that tasted like. Though it was my fifth place. So my fifth place was this guy. Purple Kool-Aid salted peanuts. This was my sixth place. So I don't have a hanger thingy to go on it like that. But this is my number six. Fourth place was this guy. He was old sweet tea. It was syrupy oak. I liked it. It was my fourth place as well. Third place right here was some gobby candy corns. And you know what? Halloween's passed. I don't want any more candy corn. This was my uh, second place. I thought it was really, really good. Uh, yeah, but it was good. Number two was, was warm donuts. Some of the donuts had some strawberry sauce in there, and I felt like the light was on at Krispy Kreme. It's a pretty solid one. I liked it. 
My first place goes right here. Yep. This one was apple butter, Cinnabon. I felt like it was that really good apple cinnamon butter that we got from the um, the apple orchard. Mm -hmm. And this is really good. Yeah, it's. I think number one is it was really, really good. Uh, for me, the top three, first, second, and third for mm. me were all neck and neck really really solid solid bottles yeah fourth place was like fourth place and i felt like fifth and sixth for me were lacking so yeah. that's kind of how it went down for me and i feel the same i i honestly don't feel like any of them disappointed me tonight mm. or i was like oh gross all right so the idea of this jamie is there were two distilleries right and you, as you can tell it was wild turkey versus heaven hill okay. and i grabbed three comparable bottles and the idea being that you know, there's not exact comparisons. There's different ages, different prices, but mm -hmm. I kind of did the best that I could. So forgive me, um, and maybe I could have done better, but this is what I did. So I had Russell's 10-year against Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond. Uh, one's aged 10 years, one aged 7 years. So pretty comparable. Uh, and the 7-year one, though, is at 100 proof versus the Russell's 10-year, which is at 90 proof. Then we had the... Um, Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit, which is 101 proof against the Henry McKenna 10 year. Have I tried the Wild? I don't think you've ever had the Kentucky I don't think Spirit. So. Yeah, that's not familiar. So this is essentially a single barrel Wild Turkey 101. So it's a special pick of Wild Turkey 101 Primo. Might huh. be aged a little bit more, I don't even know. Uh, versus the Henry McKenna, which is obviously allocated or harder to find, but it's 10 year aged state of bottle and bottle. So 101 versus 100 proof. Age might be a little off, but we have Wild Turkey Rare Breed, which is the higher proof. Uh, wild turkey offering at 116.9 proof and i put that up against a larceny barrel proof which is coming in at 123 proof so that's like nine proof points difference uh but price the the larceny is more expensive by a little bit uh maybe you know 15 20 bucks uh, 10 15 20 bucks depending on your state and liquor store but that's kind of like the, the balance there so we're going to figure out one which distillery you like better and two how these all kind of line up together my sixth place ks kentucky spirit Okay. So, Jamie, that was your least favorite of the night. And that was my number five, so we were not far off at all. My fifth place, Russell's 10. That was my sixth place. Oh, my. Which one did I say was it? Which one did I say tasted like Russell's? Was it this one? No, it was, I think it was either Kentucky Spirit or the Russell's. Like, oh. I think it might have been the Russell's 10. You said, kind of reminds me of Russell's. Because <laughs> so. I always get that that weird numbiness in my mouth. Yep. So, fourth place, Heaven Hill. Okay, the seven year bottle and bomb. That was my fourth place as well. My third place, Henry McKenna. That bottle, every time we go back to that <laughs> bottle, we get different flavor notes. It is crazy. It's good. My second place, Larceny. Rare breed, not. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm not. Rare breed's so good. <laughs> Rare breed is what findable, and it's 116.8 proof. Findable wild turkey for about 45 to 55 bucks, okay. depending on your state and store. And I just did a a video on that uh, as a Patreon pour for our Patreons on our uh, you know those who support us directly of the port pour series yeah. we do. And I did a video on that. And I, just, I, I liked it so much, I really wanted to kind of put it up against some other comparable bottles and see how it did. And for both of us, it, it came out on top. That's why so many people talk about Wild Turkey Rare Breed as just an absolute amazing bottle from Wild Turkey. It's blended, It's a blend of different ages that they just put it together in such a way that, man, for that price point... You know, you've got some heavily allocated stuff, some harder to find stuff, some very, you know, more harder to find stuff. It, it just, it's just special. But according to the point system, which was, which, you know, whoever had, you know, the overall, I guess, you know, lowest points or highest points, however you want to look at it. Mm -hmm. In this case, Jamie, even though Wild Turkey was your number one overall, you tended to favor the Heaven Hill product versus the Wild Turkey product. If you guys like what we're doing here on Beyond the Rope, please subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button if you like finding out what are the best distilleries out there. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see you next time. Way too long. It's weird because you know what they are and you still take way too long. I just want it to be real. It is real. Mine's real. <laughs> Mine's like even more real than yours because you know what they are. Mine's the realest of the reals. No, mine's realer than yours. Yeah, put in more mine's effort. realer than your real when you are real about it. Your 
ridiculous. Though. Tonight we're bringing out the big dogs. We have sixth place going right here. What do you mean by big dogs? You keep saying that and you like keep wanting to say big dogs, but what is? What because we have six big dogs here. There's six. It's like the we're bringing out this because that. That's means the we're smallest doing a podium law. of all of them. It's literally <laughs> the smallest. It doesn't even have six on but it. It's like we're it's got a zero on it. <laughs> Gosh, and you're darn calling it, it the big dog. I don't know what you're doing. Yet. 